This horse um, is not long back in work. He finished his season in Ireland, in Ballandenisk, where he finished second in a big international class out there. So I was very pleased with that. As I said, I've always struggled with him. He's been sort of tricky in his mouth, tricky to steer, tricky to do everything. But at the same time, I don't mind riding him because he's, he feels tough. He feels like he wants to do it. He's a very sound horse. You get a feeling for a horse quite quickly in our job in terms of when you run them novice. Some horses, after they've done the first novice, come out of the stable like old men saying, oh. Whereas he comes out like a, a fighter every time. He comes out, he shakes his head, he messes about, he trots up very, very, very well. Can I suggest we something? Oh, no. Anyway. Um, Have you changed his bit? Yeah, I have. I've got a Pelham in it. I'd very rarely ride anything in a stronger bit than a snaffle. I'm a real snaffle man and just try and get things riding as well as possible. But it became neon impossible with him to, to do anything but put a slightly stronger bit in because I, I felt like I ended up using strength. Have you tried him without a bit? I've ridden him in a hackamore once, I think. No, you're not listening to me. I didn't say a hackamore. I said, have you tried him without a bit? I don't really know what you're on about, but... He's a bit stupid sometimes. But as you can see now, I can ride him off quite a light rein. I can steer him through, bring him my shoulder around. And he stays in whatever rhythm. I put him in, good boy. That's good. What about so if we try him without a bit? Huh? What about if we try him without a bit? Here, oh, come here a minute. No, he's got off. <laughs> We're going to be here for another three hours whilst he tries to get back on now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, minute, these things are sticking in my ears. It's a good job I'm not in stock now. They're not designed for fat heads. <laughs> His ears are three times as big as mine. What are you doing? Huh? I'm, uh, oh, no. I said, have you tried him without a bit? Oh. Uh, here, get hold of that. Get hold of that. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> now, oh, just come no. here, son. This nose band just wants slackening off a bit. Uh, in fact, it's very tight, this nose bun. It's too tight. <laughs> it isn't. It, it I'll tell you that what. Tight. I'll tell oh, you what. No. <laughs> oh. Now, see, I said, have you tried it without a bit? The grooms oh. will like it as well. Less tack to clean. Oh, right, Jeff. have a trot round. Don't be nervous. And the main thing is, do not pull on his mouth. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Who's got control now? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I hope health and safety aren't here. <laughs> oh, Don't be nervous. Happy, <laughs> That's it. Keep your body straight. <laughs> Look where you're going. A dress has less than off Jeff Billington. That's when you know your career's on its way out. <laughs> oh, my God. I wonder what would happen if I came past you at the gallop. <laughs> oh, my God. He's off. <laughs> Sit up. Don't pull. <laughs> down the line, down the far side. <laughs> and that was good. <laughs> I quite like this. What do you think? Huh? I'm better than I thought. <laughs> You'll save some time galloping around badminton, Has won't you? I've got a puller so I can stop. <laughs> You'll definitely not be taking a pull. That's good. 
That's excellent. Anyhow, it's about time I jumped Jimmy over some big offences. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you can see, it's all about rhythm and balance. You can either go faster or slower. You can speed up. Whoa, whoa. Or you can slow down. Whoa. Uh, Jeff, I really can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a cry for help? <laughs> so you do need me. <laughs> <laughs> Not that badly. <laughs> Good boy. That was fantastic. He's never looked as happy. <laughs> Hello. That was really, really good. good boy. I'm impressed. Anyhow, I'm going to carry on working away with, no with Jimmy. <laughs> I won't listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming inside. I can't, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> That's good. You can see, keep the rhythm, don't run over the wife. Whoa. Good boy. Go to stop, lean back. Can we make this fence bigger, girls, please? Can I have a bridle? <laughs> you can get off if you want. <laughs> yeah, I want. Don't, don't forget your bridle. Uh, I haven't jumped him a lot since he's been back in work probably six weeks. He's been getting a lot of fitness work. Uh, he feels really healthy again now. Uh, I'll take him to the show he at weekend. He can go I'll probably jump a small class with him the first day, maybe a 1.30 the second day, give him the third day off, and if he's feeling good, then I'll jump him in the Grand Prix. That's, that's my plan for him this week. We'll just wait till that door's closed again and then we'll start to jump some bigger fences. Good boy, Jimmy. Good lad. All right, we'll try him. He's 12 years old. The show jumper's prime is between 10 and 16 years old, I would say. Oh, yes. Oh, and he's very pleased with himself. This is the, f oh, I'm on the wrong one, this is the four-year-old. Whoa, Jimmy, lad. That a boy. That's good. So, whoa. Just put that, put that Bale and Ed's bed under the fence, please, Oliver. You know, he's, he's a very, very careful horse. And I said he hasn't jumped for a few months. So I've got to show him a few spooky things. Nothing better than a bail and Ned's bed under the fence. I'm sure he's going to look down at it. I just hope he don't think it's bedtime and he's going to lie on it. That's good. Okay, go bigger with the parallel and the vertical. If we, have we got any more cups anywhere or not? Here, get the cups off this fence here. Do you not need to go outside? Fucking women. <laughs> 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 uh, now there's all the light shining through. She's nicked two and a half minutes off us, so we'll have to stay in two and a half minutes longer. I want another pole in that vertical, please. And some more poles in the, in the oxa, Sarah. Good boy, good boy. As you can see, he Don't goes... worry, he'll get used to him. <laughs> I used to cry like that every night. <laughs> Uh, so, whoop. Round the corner, same, same pace, good boy. Good lad. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa that whoa. was good. Oh, you know, his biggest asset is he's so careful. That's he quite... wants to jump the fences. He might, he might not have Olympic scope, but whatever he's capable of jumping, he will give his best. He's got a great, he's got a great mind on him. He, 
It's really coming off the floor there. Can you make that bigger, please? Hey, up. Flipping heck. <laughs> hey? It's all right for you, lot, on the floor. So you've gone up a bit. You've gone up a bit big, haven't you? Okay, go, go down. I don't want to over... Just put it down. A, down a, you've gone too big too quick. We can build up to that in a minute. We need to build Jeff's confidence up. Go down to. <laughs> Getting a bit chicken in my old age. <laughs> Mind you, if somebody says they'll give 10 grand if I jump it, then I'll jump it. <laughs> <laughs> so, same pace. It doesn't matter whether the fence is two foot high, four foot high, or six foot high. You don't need to go any faster. The only difference is when the fence is six foot high, you get two strides away and your bum starts to twitch like a bunny rabbit's nose. But you've just got to ignore that. Oh. Good boy. Good lad. Oh, bloody Nora. Oh, he's fresh, isn't he? Do you see how he exploded then? Flipping heck. Bigger, Sarah. You want to ride? Do you want to know what a proper show jump feels like? <laughs> Have they took no. your hat away? <laughs> huh? My God, I can see his backside twitching from here. <laughs> Very good. Oh, ho, fella, ho, oh, ho. So I need to be able to shorten him and lengthen him. And shorten him and lengthen him. Turn. Turn. Fence at the angle. Turn. I think he'd make a good pull up on you as well. Whoa, very good. Oh, oh Jimmy, he's back on four, isn't he? He's giving me a fantastic feel. It just make that wider, that parallel, Sarah, please. You can go, go on, go on wider. That's all right. Good lad, head a boy. He's my mate, he is. He's a fantastic person. I, go, I walk down, our stables are attached to the house. And every time I go past, I go to him and I start scratching him on his shoulder there. And he starts scratching me back, you know, like horses scratch each other. And he waits for you to come out. He loves the attention and he gets it. Right, that's quite a wide parallel now. In fact, I'd say you could nearly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that wide. <laughs> it's that wide, I can fit my body through it. <laughs> I'm gonna come around the corner, nice, balanced, hopefully. Good boy, head a boy. Keep him between hand and leg. Keep the rhythm. There we go. So there you can see, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen the novice horses, the problems we have them. It's not only you lot that have your spooky problems. We all have the problems. You've got to work through them. It takes hours and hours and hours of patience. But you've got to be firm. Don't give in to your horse. You know, it might take for me to get that mare past those bushes. If I was at home when she was doing that, I'd just stay on her. It might be for an hour and a half, two hours but I'd stay on her till she would just walk past the bushes here that I could ride on a relatively loose rein. She didn't spook at them and I could ride around the corner just like Uppercut is doing. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this morning's demonstration. If you're still around this afternoon, 
please come back. We're going to do something entirely different. We've got four different horses. And if you want to see some big jumps, this afternoon's the time. We've got one rule. The louder you scream, the higher they go. <laughs> Ali. The four horses we've used, we think an awful lot of. We've got, as Jeff said, four horses completely different next session. Thank you for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Billington. Oliver Townend. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much to Jeff and Oliver.